love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, beloved. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord comes forth for the kingdom age to establish it. And prophecy, if it's edifying and if it points to a good future of love, uh, embrace all that is good, people, says uh, Paul in the Bible. Beyond the passage gate of death, says uh, Christ, spirit of love, he says, I come forth to destroy everything that's unloving in man's imagination, and by their dedication to love shall they now reap. The, the reward is before us if, if we will keep our love alive and not hide it. For the Lord says, as my kingdom age new covenant shows, there could never be a judgment day for anyone who has their love light on. For those who love are born of God and know God because I am love, says the Spirit. And um, no judgment day could be because uh, uh, this is Daniel saying uh, his word now says exactly what's written. I shall forgive your iniquity and remember it no more. That has always secretly been everlasting over all people. It is the everlasting covenant of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14. So the Lord says uh, uh, that uh, everyone has been justified by his word, atoned for by his blood, and sanctified by his eternal promise of forgiveness over them. That's a rock uh, far larger than Jupiter ever could be. Um, uh, only an ant could uh, lift such a rock in its energized imagination. Thus saith the Lord, I am the unconditional way of love unto life and the living redemption through it. As the carpenter of the ages, I now lay a sure kingdom age uh, foundation for the new heavenly restoration of my word across the circle of the earth, exactly as Peter, my apostle, preached in Acts 3.21. So know this, uh, therefore, says the Lord, I am that which I am, for I am the living fountain of love, who's now sending forth renewed spirits of uh, springs of living waters, while standing as the good shepherd of John 10.15 and 16, the good shepherd in the latter days over all the flocks of man, to gather the lost and the scattered, uh, before bringing them into the into uh, my everlasting united united flock, agreeing to disagree with others, says the Lord about all divine things, uh, faith, peace, and hopes guarantee, is His uh, manifested kingdom age of love before all men, and it's time to look at our commonality, says Daniel, uh, rather than our differences. So embrace uh, my sister and uh, my instructions from uh, that we've received from the throne on high, even down to his instruction of uh, uh, being giving people in uh, the last days of uh, the, the no understanding for prophecy, because the prophecy ahead of us is... Uh, not foreseen, <laughs> because we have two totally opposing futures, Armageddon or peace, and it's up to us to choose. So the Lord says, as the carpenter of the ages, I give those of all faiths a new commandment. Be obedient unto your own spiritual death, unto love, since belief in uh, no religions of man has ever been important to man's guaranteed eternal life under his great white throne on high. And as the great reformation of his foretold restoration begins, the Lord now says, Let all resurrected sheep of my foretold restoration evermore behold my literal word of Jeremiah 31. It's never been metaphoric. It was taken as metaphoric and unable to apply to anyone in particular because it was never officially given. It was said to be given in the latter days, but it got switched people. And uh, the correct percipient uh, uh, for the promises and blessing of God has always been all mankind. It, that's that's who it was correctly addressed to his blessing and basically 2,000 years ago Christians said we are Israel we are all mankind and the prophecy is over now instead of instead of now in the latter days so it's always been invalid where it's been people 
So it's it's a days of love, days of faith, and days of hope anew. And the Lord raises up and he says, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if you give me what I desire of my heart from John 17, 20. And that's unity of man in love for all people may stand together in love. And then there's no condemnation for those walking with love. That's what the walking in the spirit has always meant. And uh, so the bottom line is people need to understand, says Daniel, that God so loved this world. He gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love, the Great Commission has always been about love. It's never, he is love. Jesus is love. That's his name. First John 4, 7. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, capital L. And that is his name that John uh, named him. So no uh, people that uh, religion has all been man-made and all of it has been an error which automatically breaks open the canons of all religions and it automatically links all people of love together since all have the same heavenly destiny by the firmest promise of the kingdom age new covenant which commands all of love to stop, look, and listen. Restoration uh, that he asks for uh, from, uh, from a, a, for our own peace uh, it asks for crosses. Um, uh, oh, uh, it, it crosses all uh, imaginable reason is what the Lord is saying in this hour. And uh, those opposed to the kingdom age, peace and love that, that he is sending are fully anti-Christ as they point to uh, this end time faith of Chrislam. Uh, Isaiah 62 to manifest a new name shall I give Israel and the mystery of God is over that Israel and Gentiles are all no difference between anyone and that is why Isaiah 54 uh, I believe it's 54 uh, it's written that the, the Jewish people the Judaism uh, thereof would inherit the Gentiles so praise the Lord uh, Things are happening and people haven't understood definitions properly. Born again, Jesus said, has, for example, never could never be defined. It's as the wind. So he said, if you want to be born again, be as little children. He urged people to be as little ch children again and again. Uh, because spiritual freedom only through love, love awaits everyone that will embrace love and eternal, eternal liberty awaits in love and he is love and he's waiting for all of us so praise the lord and and uh, subscribe pass the ammunition uh habakkuk 2 king james said uh, it is written on the tablets that they that readeth my writing this is an end time vision of, of god's glory would let their eyes run. That means everybody needs to be for story times, uh, having big uh, ears like Mickey and Minnie, and uh, to understand what the Lord is saying about love and peace in this generation. If they don't get it this time, we will not have a kingdom age. We will have total destruction ahead of us. Malachi 4, 6 has to happen. Hearts of everybody has to start loving everybody, and it's got to start crossing the lines and boundaries that we've trapped ourselves into uh, causing the division of man-made religion when God God uh, sent faith a uh, big difference spirituality crosses all lines written in the sand so these are the days beloved to know that accursedness coming from transgressions of the intoxication of our polluted minds await all those fighting against love and peace Whose, whose spirit indwells as love's most magnificent light of joy within all of us. But in love, God sets us all free to walk the wild side, knowing that such is definitely not in our best interest. But we're free to do it if we got to explore our shadow selves and uh, uh, indulge in sin. It will be forgiven, but we have to keep our love light on. Uh, that is the unforgivable sin. All shall be 
uh, as the Bible says, all shall be forgiven except the unforgivable sin of letting one's love light go out and wax cold because that is our light of our everlasting body. And if we let it go out, we bring judgment upon ourselves. God judges us not. He judges, judges us only in love and forgiveness. And one, one is the other and both are the same. The Lord doesn't see us as we are, but as we will be. And we are angels, people, with a capital M. We are angels, and our shining is greater than that of the previous angels, because the first is last, and last is first. We are the last, and our shining shall be first. That is why we shall, according to the Word of God, judge the uh, hosts that have fallen. And now... Now that the Lord declares unconditional love over fools and the wise as well, guidelines have to be laid out. So let all carnal rebels living unholy lives know that even though he promises in his kingdom age new covenant that everyone's eternal salvation will remain, those disobedient unto love and those uh, wanting to continually be sinful in unloving ways Will bring forth physical, uh, will bring forth physical and mental disorders from within, and we make ourselves sick with our own toxicity, our own poisons, our own lusts, and all that is not of love can harm us, people. And the Spirit of the Lord says this, people: We are all children of God. As time flies on by. The good news is that we are all free agents, pilots, who don't have to use our Lord God as a co-pilot unless we want to. But without his peace, we can't appreciate good days. So do good for others, and it'll come back unto all those of love karma. And uh, that's the same thing as the law of sowing and reaping. Same thing, different word. People have... Uh, their, their, uh, uh, Definitions of everything are such that everything's all out of whack. Um, Christians don't believe John the Beloved, those who love are born of God and know God. Hell no. Uh, if you're a Buddhist, you don't know God. You know, you're going to hell. You don't, you don't love. If you're an alcoholic, you don't know God. You don't know love. If you're a Hindu or a Jew, you don't know God. You don't love. You're Islamic. No, you got a false God. You're going to hell, buddy. You don't know God. You don't love. And it's sick. And it's time for the everlasting gospel to come forth to straighten up all that mess because mankind has, has added to the word of God and changed the word of God. And that brought forth the opposite of what could be. And now what could be is the kingdom age peace if we will all recognize the error of history. So it's time to stand up tall in love. Good thing eternal membership to love is before us. And God now sets before all of us life and death, an open door unto heaven uh, that no brainwashed souls could ever possibly close. So it's time to quit being shallow as a glass of water, opening our hearts and opening our minds and, and uh, opening our wallets if need be to start helping those that we can see. Because if we can't help those that we can see, we can never uh, help those. We can never help those that uh, we can't see. Boy, I'm having technical difficulties, so I'm going to end this right here. Love from love, people. <laughs>